In this particular video, I'm going to help you make your first ugly dashboard. The context in which we are operating is in the domain of people analytics. The objective really is to see where our promotions are happening and if there are biases, what can the company do so that the promotions are happening as per their strategy. We we'll start off by importing and processing the data. Then we're going to make four plots, that is the overall promotion summary, then promotion summary by gender, education and experience. And finally, we're going to put it together and build a dashboard and we're going to tell the story using the Z format. And finally, you'll have your first ugliest Tableau dashboard. In another video, I'm going to show you how you're going to plot the same information, but make it more presentable. But before we dive in, hey, my name is Kunal Lai. I'm the founder of Data Science Masterminds and I'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can grow in your career quickly. So before I move on, please hit the subscribe button and please hit the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I release an awesome video such as this one. Also, YouTube has introduced the super thanks button. If you feel this video is helping you so much, please show your gratitude and love by hitting the super thanks button. This will keep me motivated to make more awesome videos such as this one. So let's dive in. The data that we're going to use is going to be something like this. And we are going to focus on the promotion column, the gender column, education level, and the experience. This is all we are going to require for building this dashboard. Now we can build more complicated dashboard, but for now we'll just limit it to these columns. So let's get started on Tableau. I've already opened my Tableau public and I'm going to load the data, promotion data. The data link will be present in the comment section below. It will be placed on GitHub so you can download it from there and follow along with me. And the end result is going to look something like this, where we're going to have the overall promotion summary, gender summary, department summary, experience summary, or this can be the education summary. But this is approximately what it will look like, hopefully even better and not so ugly. So let's get started with loading the data. I'm going to click here and say connect data, and I'm going to say text file. The text file that you want to connect is anything that has a .csv extension or a .txt extension. So these are the files typically that qualify under text file. And I'm going to select that one and I'm going to say OK and open. Now, as soon as it opens, it's going to be loaded here. And on the left hand side, you're going to see the name along with all the fields listed. And on this particular side, you're going to see all of the fields again and some sample rows that is approximately 100 rows to just give you a sense of what data you are loaded within Tableau. Now notice it has certain icons here, which is indicating what kind of data type may be present within this column. And you will see that this is representing integers or numbers or floats. This is city or geographic locations. This is numbers again, string characters, and if you keeps scrolling towards the right hand side, you're going to see mostly these variations. Now, we, this information is going to come handy when you want to process some kind of information, create some charts. And so just keep be mindful that there might be some numerical columns that are categorical and some categorical columns that are numerical, which you may have to convert while creating the dashboard. So let's go ahead and create our first chart. That is the overall summary. So I'm going to click on sheet one. Now in Tableau, each sheet is representing one chart. Just like in Excel pivot tables, if you have one chart, you are going to create one pivot table. And if you want to create another pivot table with another chart, then you have to do another pivot table with another chart. So each of the pivot tables you create creates one more chart. In Tableau, those are referred to as sheets. And each time you are creating a chart, you can imagine one Excel pivot table getting created and one portion of the dashboard getting created. So we're going to first begin by taking in the promotion column to the rows area. Just like in Excel, we can put it into the rows area. The only catch here is that this particular column is a summary column or a numeric column. And we want to show the information of zero and one or summarize the information of zero and one rather than summing this up. So if you had to do this on Excel, I'm just going to go to the insert tab and say, tables here, pivot tables and say, okay, you're going to take, let's say the promotion to the rows area, and then you will take typically enrollee ID to get the count of employees that got promoted, right? And so this is 15,000 and 2,500 of them got promoted. Overall 18,000 people are there. So this effect is not possible within Tableau directly. There is a bit of workaround that we need to do. 
by default the green prills are treated as continuous data and or numeric data and so it is summarized by default and so to undo this activity what we need to do is we can need to click on this and make this a dimension and then again click on this and make it discrete which will give us that zero and one that we found within the excel pivot table this additional step is required to be done in tableau because in tableau you can have values area with the columns rows or even the marks area and it is a flexibility that tab table provides over the excel pivot tables and so now we are ready to put some values or count within this to give us the count which is gotten by this particular additional column that gets added within tableau whenever you import data into tableau and it's called the count column and whatever sheet name or data source name you have, it will be having that name along with count. And so instead of taking any random column and putting it into the values area and saying count, you can directly take this count feature and then put it into this area. And it's going to give you the count of the people that did not get promoted and the count of people that got promoted. And now it's time for us to make this into a chart. And so the way we can do it is, we can simply go and click on the show me and click on this chart here and uh, it it should convert it into two bars like this now it is not going to be that useful for us in this way so we're just going to switch things around which is take the promotion to the columns area and we are going to bring the count to the rows area so this way we'll have a vertical chart like this and we can then show this into the entire area to get this information However, there's one catch. You'll see that you will not have any labels here. So to get labels, I'm just going to take again this promotion and put it into the labels area here, which will just display the labels on the top. And this is how our first chart will be generated. But there are a few more things about that we need to tee out. One is the sheet name. So we're going to just say here, that is overall summary, we'll give it a chart name, and this is going to be visible on the top here. So once this chart is ready, we are ready to make another one, which is going to be as per our plan on the gender one. So for that, we are going to duplicate this particular column. I'm going to say duplicate and I'm going to say gender summary. Now for this gen gender summary, notice we are going to do the same thing, but this time we are going to do it on top of the zero and one that is promotion zero and uh, promotion is one and zero is non-promotion. I'm going to divide male and female within this to be able to break that split of males and males here. The ones that got promoted and did not get promoted. So that 15,000 you're breaking it down here and then females you're breaking it down. here. Right? That's a break that we'll be doing. So for that, what we're going to do is take gender and then put it before promotions. And you will notice that it is going to be doing it on all of the four categories that are present within gender. So the gender column has few additional values, which is null and other. And so for the scope of analysis, maybe we want to exclude the null category so that we can display all the other categories. Okay. So we're going to just exclude null for this particular analysis. And I'm just going to say this and say filter and just say null and check this null and say okay and the null category will be removed now there is a choice we can take gender towards this side or we can put on the first here both of them will give different views you can prefer to choose whichever view or whichever story you want to tell for now i want to keep the view in this place such that it's just going to give me the count of all the others within this particular space now other seems to be a small number so we're just going to exclude this for and this analysis and say okay and just we're going to see males and females and we're just going to sort this by okay so it's sorted now you have females males females males and the second chart is ready next we are going to do the same steps again replicate this and do it for the education level so i'm just going to say duplicate again this time I'm just going to remove gender from this and I'm going to put, let's say the education level on top here. 
and you're going to see a lot of this education level coming in and i'm going to exclude nulls again in this particular scenario so i'm going to say filter here and say uncheck of null and i'll get these categories now the way we have put this is we have all of the categories individually compared within that category so in this particular case what we're going to do is we're just going to shift this here so each of these categories will be individually seen and the categories will then show the information of who got promoted and who did not get promoted that count and that comparison right so this is another view of looking at it and again just the perspective or the story that you want to tell will decide whether or not you can keep it first or later so this is going to be the education summary and i want to close this and say duplicate again to create the last summary that's going to be the experience summary the relevant experience so we're going to remove the education level here and we are going to take let's say relevant experience or the experience that is available here so it turns out it has lot many columns and maybe we can switch things around which is going to give a better perspective I don't know if that is the right column. Maybe it has relevant experience, has, has a much more better perspective. These are so many categories. So I'm going to take that and put it here. And so we are, uh, we are going to compare now who got promotion and who did not. And so this one better is to switch it around and compare it. So you can see has relevant experience. There are these many candidates and out of that one, one, nine, four of them got promoted and no relevant experience 532 out of these two uh, out of these some of these two got promoted and so this way we are able to build four different charts to give us the story for where all promotions happened and just give us a oral comparisons to analyze the trends and impacts of promotion on different categories now it's time for us to put it all together and just build the story. We're going to create a dashboard for that. So I'm going to click on this dashboard here and I'm going to go and click on the size and change this to automatic. Here, we're going to then dump the overall summary here. And that will be the first chart that we load. Then we're going to take the gender summary and notice how when I switch it around, it's going to give me an indication of where I can place it. So for now, I'm going to place it on this side. So it's that first arm of the Z that is there. And then next, I'm going to take the education summary and place it below promotion. Notice if I do this, it's going to again indicate where I can drop it. So I'm going to drop it just below this. And similarly, experience summary, I'm just going to drop it below this. So now we have all of these four charts available for us uh, to give us the dashboard view. And one thing we can do is maybe add a title on top here, somewhere like this and give it the pro promotion summary title. Select this, give it black and increase the size 20, center align this and say, okay. And we should have this title available for us. Now, all of the charts are like sticking to each other and we just want to maybe introduce a little gap to just give some space and make it look a lot better. So for that, we have this blank space. We can simply just drag it and put it there and just adjust the width of this so that this there is just a little gap between them for us to see the information much more correctly. Similarly, I can just put blank here and really adjust this charts to create some gaps within these charts also. So similarly, again, here, and we adjust the lines to this point here. Similarly, we are going to adjust it to this particular point. Now, this is how the, the dashboard is going to be looking like. We can maybe have some blank spaces here, but overall you can choose to do whatever aesthetics you want on top of this. But for now, as beginners, you can just do this much to get acquainted with Tableau and do this for multiple different charts and variations to get acquainted with just the basic flow 
of creating a dashboard. What's next? We're going to take this particular dashboard and revamp it to create some metrics using calculated fields and in general, try to make it look beautiful. We're going to attempt to make it something like this. And this will indicate a lot more better information than the previous one that we created. The only catch here is that notice we are going to be creating a much more better, better representation of these charts, which is we're going to show head counts. And then on the right hand side, we are going to show the promotion percentage, which is a much more better indication of the same information as opposed to showing the promotions like this. So more on that in the next video.